This is the new best way to remove background noise in Final Cut Pro. The first thing you want to do is select your clip. And once you get that selected in the upper right hand corner, we are going to go to this audio symbol. This is the audio inspector. And inside here, the old way of doing this was just to use the noise removal, but this thing was absolutely terrible. It did not work so well. Now Final Cut Pro actually just came out with a brand new tool and it's called voice isolation. And honestly, this thing, I think it might be magic. This tool is perfect for removing background noise, whether you have an air conditioner in the background or you have some hiss, white noise, static, or even just loud background noise in the background of your shots. So let's see just how good this voice isolation tool is. We're gonna test it on two different levels. First, we're gonna start with a level one clip, which is difficulty easy. And then we're gonna jump to a level 10 clip, which is difficulty hard. Scratch that, difficulty extremely hard. So right here is our level one clip, which is pretty easy. We have an air conditioner in the background and take a listen to this. Sean was sitting right underneath it and it was pretty loud. Yeah. I mean, my hard goal is... Now this thing is pretty loud and annoying, but we're gonna see if we can remove this air conditioner from the shot and just isolate his voice. So we select the clip and then we're gonna go back up here under voice isolation and automatically it's gonna set it to 50% and let's play it and see how it sounds. And then from there we can adjust. In fact, like that is the language that Alex Hermosi and... That sounds pretty good. And just for reference, let me show you what this sounds like with it turned off. In fact, like that is the language that Alex Hermosi and uh, Layla speak is like the reason they do it is now like I said this thing is like magic and it does a really good job but we can actually increase this a little bit if we want to just by sliding this up to let's try 70% and see how that sounds in fact like that is the language that Alex Hermosi and uh, Layla honestly at 75% that is sounding really really good level one complete let's move on to level 10 difficulty extremely hard take a listen to this and let's see if we can make it sound any better the, your first thing to do after after joining is to watch niche finder which i know is something to watch and we have all this other stuff yeah that's that's going to be pretty difficult to remove all that background noise but stay tuned because i do have some audio tricks inside of final cut pro that you can do to make this sound a lot better even after doing the voice isolation tool so let's just get right into it first things first let's just go ahead and apply the voice isolation at 50 percent and see how it sounds after joining is to watch niche finder which i know is something to watch now it sounds pretty good but the background noise is still bleeding through just a little bit. So I'm going to play it again and increase the percentage. No, it's something to watch and we have all this other stuff, but like there's nothing like it. So hundred percent is just a bit too much, but I feel like right around that 80% is where it sounds pretty good without distorting the voice too much. Like I said, though, there are a few other tricks we want to do to this clip to make it sound better. Now, the first thing we're going to do sounds a little bit backwards or counterintuitive, but we're actually going to add in some background music or background sound effects. The reason we do this is because when we remove all of that background noise, it's just him talking and he's talking really loud and it doesn't sound quite natural. Your first thing to do after joining is to watch Niche Finder. But if we add in some sound effects or some music, it's going to sound a lot better. I'm gonna be using epidemicsound.com and you guys can try this too. You can get a 30 day free trial by going to thinkmediasounds.com and then do exactly what I'm gonna do on this video. First, we'll start off by downloading a sound effect that is gonna sound natural in the background of the video. All you gotta do is go to the search bar and then we are gonna type in something like people talking and we're gonna see what pops up. Right here, we have a large exterior crowd, which sounds like it would be good, but let's take a listen and see if it fits. All right, I love that sound effect. So we're gonna go over here to download. And just like that, I can download this and then apply it inside of Final Cut Pro. So now I'm gonna drag the volume of the sound effects down to about negative 12 decibels. And let's hear what it sounds like with and without the sound effects. The, your first thing to do after joining is to watch Niche Finder, which I know is something to watch and we have all this other stuff but like there's nothing like it. The nice thing about removing background noise and then adding it in later is it still sounds natural, but you're able to mix the volume exactly how you want. Now, the other thing you can do is add in background music, but there's a trick you can do to the actual song to make it sound a lot better when it's paired with a human voice. Now back on epidemicsound.com, we are going to go to music. And one of my favorite things to do is actually browse through the playlist that they have. They have amazing music in these playlists, makes it really easy to find the right song. One of my favorite playlists is called Pop podcast hip hop. And in here, there is just a bunch of really cool beats that would work perfect to go in the background of this clip. Another great feature they have is that you can sort through these playlists or really any of the music by genre, mood, vocals, duration, or BPM. So I'm going to go over to mood and then I'm going to select happy going with those happy vibes. And I'm going to listen to these and see which one I want. 
Okay, okay, okay. I think that's the song. We're gonna go to download and we're gonna download that to my computer and then just drag that right into Final Cut Pro. So here's what we need to do with the music to make it sound really, really good with his voice. The first step is we're just gonna quiet down the track a little bit so we can edit it to the voice. The next step to this is to actually select the music track and then we're gonna go up here in the audio inspector and we are going to mess with the equalizer so that it's not clashing with his voice as much. And I'm gonna keep this super simple. I'm just going to play the clip and then drag this down a little bit in the higher ends so that his voice is going to stand out a little bit more. After joining is to watch Niche Finder, which I know is something to watch. That sounds much better. And the last step, which is the icing on the cake, is we want to select the actual clip with the audio of Sean talking, and then we are going to EQ his voice as well. The, your first thing to do, but like, there's nothing like it. So now let's listen to what level 10 sounds like before and then after. The, your first thing to do after joining is to watch Niche Finder, which I know is something to watch and we have all this other stuff but like, there's nothing like it. That is much easier to hear his voice. And even with all that background noise, we made it sound a lot better. If you wanna see my favorite effects, plugins, and tools that I use in Final Cut Pro to edit these videos, then click on the screen and I will see you guys in the next video.